good morning students <clears throat> continuing from where we left off in our last class a few days back the cabinet headed by the prime minister proteus is in meeting with the king that is king magnus and the conversation is going on we'll pick it up from here where magnus is responding to nicobar nicobar has just said that uh, the last line that he spoke was under our squabbling and bungling as you call it squabbling means fighting and bungling means making foolish mistakes but magnus corrects him and he says no it was the prime minister who used those expressions that is that is it was not me who used these words to describe the cabinet nicobar don't quibble he was quoting them from your reptile press quibble means to raise objections about an insignificant or trivial matter he meaning the prime minister was quoting them from your reptile press reptile press means a person who is regarded with loathing and contempt when you dislike somebody so here the press that is the printed press uh, the newspapers that is they had used these words for the cabinet what i say is that we stand for high wages we stand for means we support high wages wages means payment or salary and you are always belittling and opposing the men that pay them belittling means dismiss as important and you are op always opposing the men uh, the men means the big business houses the wealthy business houses that pay them well the way voters like high wages wages means salary as you may remember they know they are well off means they are wealthy and they don't know what you are grumbling about the they is used for the voters the voters know that they are wealthy because they are paying handsomely and they don't understand why the uh, the king is complaining grumbling means complaining or protesting about something and that is what will beat you that is what will beat you every time you try to stir them against us and he resumes his seat beat you means cause your defeat stir them against us means incite them to take action against us every time you try to excite the public to turn against us you will be defeated us means the government against the government plenty there is no need to rub it in like that nick we are all good friends nobody objects to prosperity who is this we the cabinet and the king we are good friends with one another nobody objects to prosperity prosperity means wealth even the king will not object if the public becomes wealthy magnus you think this prosperity is safe that is this wealth is safe safe oh come sir really balbus safe look at my constituency constituency means a specified area of voters a district uh, for the voting public north east by north birmingham with its four square miles of confectionery works now confectionery works are uh, places where different types of sweets are made where you have cakes and you have pastries that are made or any other sweets that are made so they have confectionery works now remember that only the rich can afford to buy and eat sweets or cakes pastries etc do you know that in the christmas cracker trade birmingham is in is the workshop of the world Now, just as we light crackers at the time of diwali even in england perhaps in those days they used to use crackers at christmas to announce the birth of the child baby christ so it is the biggest business of the world crassius take gateshead and middlesbrough alone 
Now, these are different districts of England, okay? Do you know that there has not been a lady day's unemployment there for five years past and that their daily output of chocolate creams totals up to 20,000 tons? Now, chocolate creams, confectioneries, cakes, pastries, etc. We have to remember that these are all products for the rich people of the country. The poor cannot afford to buy all these foods. So they, they have a turnover of 20,000 tons every year. Magnus, it is certainly a consoling thought that if we were peacefully blockaded by the League of Nations, we could live for at least three weeks on our chocolate creams. Now, consoling means comforting. It is comforting to know that if we were peacefully blockaded, in other words, if England was surrounded by the army of the League of Nations, uh, today what you have as the United Nations, Sanyukta Rashtra Sangh, jisko kehte hain, before the Second World War, there was the League of Nations, which was established after to keep and maintain peace in the world after the first world war came to an end okay so if the league of nations surrounds our country then our people can survive by eating chocolate creams for at least three weeks now magnus remember is saying this with satire wo vyang kar rahe hain. because as you i just said chocolate creams and stuff like this products like this are only eaten by the rich nicobar you did not sneer at the sweets sorry you needn't sneer at the sweets we turn out plenty of solid stuff nicobar understood that magnus is making fun mocking uh, what uh, crassus has just said so sneer means to mock at something to make fun of something so he assures the king that is we turn out we produce plenty of solid stuff also where will you find the equal of the english golf club again golf is a sport which is indulged only by the rich all over the world you spend the entire day playing this game and only those who do not have to worry about from where their salary will come, those who don't have to put in a single day's work, they can afford to play this game. So this again is talking about the rich. Balbus, look at the potteries. Potteries is China clay product, products. Um, jisko hum Hindi mein chini mitti ke de kehte hain. Cup plates jiski hoti hain, chini ki plates hoti hain. Hum unme khane, khana khate hain, chai wagra peete hain. That is pottery. The new crown derby. The new Chelsea, look at the tapestries. Now, tapestries means furnishings um, like curtains, carpets, etc. Why? The Greenwich Goblin has chased the French stuff out of the market. French cloth has always been very popular. Uh, even the English people would go and buy material from France. But now, there are factories in England which have been producing tapestries and so the French have lost the English market. Crassius, don't forget our racing motorboats and cars, sir, the finest on earth and all individually designed. No cheap mass production stuff there. Again, motor racing is a sport played by the rich. Yesare Gatividhyan, Amiron ki hain, chocolate creams khana, confectioneries khana, uh, golf khelna, ya motor sport karna, these are all games of the activities of the rich, Pliny. And our livestock, livestock means the farm animals, can you beat the English polo pony? Again, polo is a sport played only by the rich where it is a type of game of hockey but played on horseback so the players have to be very very good horsemen again only the rich can afford to play it or the english parlor maid 
Now, parlor maid means a servant girl in a home who waits on guests in the sitting room. जो आने वाले guests को चाय, पानी etc. serve करती है. She wins in all the international beauty shows. Once again, beauty contests are for the rich alone. Uh, this is spoken by Amanda. So Pliny says, Now, Mandy, Mandy, none of your triviality. Amazingly, beauty pageants are trivial and frivolous. But uh, playing golf and motor racing, etc., these are activities that involve men. So they are allowed and they feel proud about it. Magnus, I am not sure that the British parlour maid is not the only real asset in your balance sheet. Asset means useful, valuable thing or a person. That is, I am sure, in other words, the parlour maid is not the only positive thing in your balance sheet. So, Amanda, ah, to Pliny, you go home to bed and reflect on that old man. Reflect means think about it. Finally, Proteus speaks, Well, sir, are you satisfied that we have the best paid proletariat in the world on our side? Proletariat means the working class people. Uh, in other words, the, the, the middle class and the lower class people who have to go to their offices and factories and earn their salary every week. So, are you assured now that we have the entire proletariat in the world on our side and why are they on our side because we pay them very high wages so that they can afford a life of luxury magnus very gravely very seriously i dread a revolution dread means to anticipate something with apprehension or fear revolution means in hindi vidro or revolt. All except the two women laugh uproariously at this. Uproariously, when you find something very funny, uh, that something could be a person or a situation, they laugh loudly. All the men, the women don't laugh. Bona just, I must join them there, sir. I am as much against chocolate creams as you are. They never agree with me. Never agree with me means my digestion gets upset. Hindi mein kehte na, pet kharaab ho jata hai. But a revolution in England, put that out of your head, sir, means forget about it. Uh, why can't there be a revolution in England? Because according to the cabinet members, the people, the public, the proletariat is satisfied, they are happy, they are contented with the salaries that they are earning. So why should they go into revolt? Wo vidro kyo karenge? Unko kis baat ki shikayat hai? Not if you were to tear up Magna Carta in Trafalgar Square and light the fires of Smithfield to burn every member of the House of Commons. Now, the Magna Carta is the document of fundamental rights. It is the Charter of Liberties, just as we have the Constitution. Jis tarikhe se hamara samvidhan hai, usi tarikhe se England, the Constitution of England is known as the Magna Carta. And Trafalgar Square is the central open area in the city, in the heart of the city of London. So even if you burn the Constitution in the middle of London city, and even if you light up the fires of Smithfield to burn every member of the House of Commons, even then there will not be any revolt in England. The reference to Smithfield's fires is that during the reign of Mary the First, that is from the, she lived from the year 1553 to 1558 she was the queen of england who she was a catholic and wanted to re-establish catholicism uh, but england had already broken away from the roman catholic church they had set up their own english church 
and so there was a revolt uh, but it was crushed and uh, during the revolt at least 282 men and women were martyred in the smithfield fires they were actually burned to death at this place uh, this happened during the last 3 years of the reign of uh, queen mary and so she is also known as bloody mary uh referring to that uh, he says that even if you burn every member of the house of commons in the smithfield fires even then there will be no revolt in england this is bona just talking magnus answers i was not thinking of a revolution in england i was thinking of the countries on whose tribute we are living tribute means payment which countries is he talking about all the colonies of uh, the united kingdoms countries like india for example where their labor and their <coughs> resources were used and the products were sent to england and every living member in the colonies was angry and they wanted to revolt and that is what magnus is referring to suppose it occurs to them that is they realize to stop paying it that has happened before uh, paying what the money the salary and other benefits that the english people were enjoying pliny oh no sir no 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 what would become of their foreign trade with us Now, this is ironical <clears throat> products were made in india for example sent to england and then sold back in india as imported stuff at 10 times the original price so this is what he is referring to what would become of their foreign trade with us magnus at a pinch i think they could do without the christmas crackers at a pinch means if absolutely necessary the people living in the colonies they can manage without the christmas crackers and the biscuits etc oh that's childish children in their innocence are sometimes very practical mr colonial secretary the more i see of the sort of prosperity that comes of your leaving our vital industries to big businesses men businessmen as long as they keep your constituents quiet with high wages the more i feel as if i was sitting on a volcano this long sentence means that basically the big businessmen are dependent for their wealth on the colonies and based on that wealth they are able to pay the people working in the factories in england with very high wages because they earn very highly from the colonies but the day the colonies like india declared its independence we had the war of independence etc swatantrata ka hamara yuddh chala tha ek tarike se so in the same way the day the colonies realize that they need to revolt and they need to fight for their independence what are we going to do we are totally dependent uh, on the colonies so therefore he is referring to he is bewaring them of the possible uh, eventuality you know in other words the situation is so volatile that it may erupt any moment kabhi bhi vidro ho sakta hai Lysistrata, who has been listening with implacable contempt to the discussion, discussion, suddenly breaks in in a sepulchral uh, contralto. Contralto, sorry. Now, implacable. Implacable means uh, unable to be pacified or placated. जिसको खुश नहीं किया जा सकता. She has not participated in the discussion. Suddenly, she begins to sing. and the voice she takes is in a sepulchral contralto in other words in a serious sad frightening voice and a contralto 
इज द लोएस्ट फीमेल सिंगिंग वॉइस इन अ ग्रुप जब एक समूह में लोग गाते हैं तो हर गायक का अपना स्थान होता है वो कैसे गाएगा कोई हाई नोट कोई लो नोट सो अ कॉन्ट्रोलाटो इज द लोएस्ट सिंगिंग वॉइस हेयर हेयर वेन यू से हेयर हेयर मीन्स यू अग्री my department has perfectly was perfectly able and ready to deal with the supply of power from the tides in the north of scotland and you gave it away like the boobs that you are to the pentland firth syndicate a gang of foreign capitalists who will make billions out of it at the people's expense while we are bungling and squabbling crassius worked that work that his uncle is the chairman now she is the minister for the power department okay so she says you f- like the boobs that you are boobs means you foolish stupid people that you are you gave it away to the pentland firth pentland firth is a private company uh who is producing electricity and selling it back to the government these people they are a gang of foreign capitalists gang means a group and capital capitalist means wealthy industrialists who will make billions billions of pounds means a large amount of money of it at the people's expense while we are making mistakes and quarreling among ourselves bungling means making mistakes squabbling means quarreling crassius worked that crassius is responsible for this why because his uncle is chairman of the pentland firth company so the contract for producing electricity was given to this company whereas the government department the ministry of power was fully capable of producing electricity for the country crassius a lie a flat lie he is not related to me he is only my step son's father in law balbus i demand an explanation of words bungling and squabbling we have had quite enough of them here today who are you getting at that is who are you pointing the finger at who are you blaming it was not i who bang- bungled the factory bill i found it on my desk when i took office with all his majesty's suggestions in the margin and you know it now proteus is listening to all this and he is furious with them have you all done playing straight into his majesty's hand and making my situation here impossible playing straight into somebody's hands means when you do something which they want you to do and which places you in their power नो कई बार लोग आपको उकसाते हैं ताकि आप कोई बात कहें या करें एंड ऐसा करके आप अपने आप को उनके कब्जे में कर रहे हैं सो प्रोटियस इज़ अ वेरी इंटेलिजेंट मैन ही रियलाइज वॉट मैगनस इज ट्रैंग टू डू सो ही प्रॉम्स देम टू कीप क्वाइट देर इज़ अ गिल्टी साइलेंस ओके वील ब्रेक ऑफ योर कंटिन्यू इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन